We begin with the latest from the Middle East, where we now know at least 900 people have died in Israel following violent attacks by Hamas militants. A White House spokesperson says at least 11 Americans are among those dead. Tonight, Israel is carrying out a siege of the Gaza Strip. That's where Israeli officials say more than 100 civilian and military hostages are being held. Hamas is threatening executions if a blockade of food, water and fuel doesn't end. More than 680 Palestinians have been killed in retaliatory strikes on the Gaza Strip controlled by Hamas. The effects of the war are reaching some living here in Minnesota. Jewish Americans and Palestinian Americans are frantically reaching out to relatives and loved ones in the war zone. Esme Murphy spoke to some Twin Cities residents for whom the war is hitting close to home. For Jewish families and Palestinian Americans here in the Twin Cities, there is horror about what is happening right now in both Israel and Gaza. They are looking at social media and trying to understand what is happening to people they know and love. The kind of brutality to civilians taken captive, it's just really un. Believable. Rabbi Marsha Zimmerman of Temple Israel says almost everyone who is Jewish in the Twin Cities has someone in Israel they know or are related to. That includes her and her husband, prominent state representative Frank Hornstein. Everybody in our family are safe and have been moved out of their homes. So, um, and have are with relatives. The rabbi says Jews in the Twin Cities are frightened. Let's just be honest about this. So fear of increased anti-Semitism at home, what this means for all of us in the Jewish community. Steve Hunnigs, the executive director of the Jewish Community Relations well, Council of Minnesota and events. the Dakotas, has been lobbying all three congressional delegations. And the most important thing we can do there is advocate for the continued strong, powerful relationship between the United States and Israel. It's going to be a long war. That's what everybody warns. Palestinian Americans are fearful, too. It's a terrifying time. Tahir Herzala is a graduate student at the U of M and a field director for American Muslims for Palestine. Uh, I have family in Gaza. Uh, they're under constant aerial bombardment. Uh, we've been trying to reach them over the past uh, 48 hours uh, with uh, little success. In Minneapolis, Esme Murphy, WCCO News. Tomorrow night, there will be a gathering of solidarity at Bethel Synagogue in St. Louis Park.